One of the standout features of Stamps.com is its user-friendly postage printing capability. In this video, we'll show you how to print a stamp using our net stamp sheet of blank postage labels. If you don't have a sheet available, you can also print directly onto an envelope, which you can learn about in our printing envelopes video. We begin by logging into Stamps.com. Once there, select the Mail tab. In the Print On drop-down, select Net Stamps Sheets. Next, look on your net stamp sheet and find the serial number. The serial number lets our software know the style and format of our net stamp sheet. Enter the number of your net stamp serial number in the designated space. For international postage, use the Mail To drop-down menu to select the country you are mailing to. Choose whether to have Stamps.com calculate the postage amount or you can specify the postage value for each net stamp yourself. In this tutorial, Stamps.com will calculate the postage amount. Click the Service drop-down menu to select the type of mail piece and the USPS service you will be using. This example uses the Stamps.com default setting of First Class Mail. Enter the number of net stamps you would like to print, or select the Print All box to print an entire sheet. Most people choose to print an entire sheet for added convenience. You can enter a reference number and select a cost code to track postal expenses. Now is the time to place your blank net stamp sheet in your printer. Original net stamp sheets are symmetrical. They can be loaded from either direction. But you must determine which side of the paper your printer prints on, the top or the bottom. This is easy to figure out. All modern printers have an icon which show which side of the paper is printed on. If for any reason you are not sure which side your printer prints on, we suggest selecting Print Sample. This will print on plain paper. When you are comfortable with your print, load your blank net stamp sheet and return to stamps.com. Select print stamps to begin the printing process. Congratulations, you have just printed your own postage stamps with stamps.com. If your net stamps fail to print properly for any reason, you can quickly and easily reprint them without any extra charge. Just click the reprint button, which becomes visible after every print. But wait, there's more. Until now, you have been able to print net stamps one sheet at a time. Now you can print on as many net stamp sheets as you want saving you the time of running multiple print jobs and giving you the convenience of being able to stock the right amount of net stamps for your operation. Let's take a look at how easy it is to take advantage of this new capability. Begin as you normally would, on the Mail tab inside your Stamps.com account. From there, you set up to print stamps the way you normally would. In the Print On drop-down menu, select Net Stamps. Then enter the serial number on the top right corner of your net stamp sheet in the field below. Whether you are printing a single sheet or multiple sheets, you only need to enter one serial number per print job, no matter how many sheets you're printing on. Continue as you normally would, choosing either to calculate the postage amount you'd like to print on your net stamps, making sure your mail from address and destination country are correct, and that you've entered the mail piece weight and selected a service from the drop-down menu. Or you can also simply specify the number of first-class mail stamps you want to print. From this point, you are now able to use the multi-page feature to print up to 25 stamps on each sheet. If you indicate more stamps than the first sheet can accommodate, the number of sheets needed will be displayed below the preview. You can still use a first sheet that has some stamps printed already. You don't have to print a full sheet at once. You can manually select where to start by using the preview window to select where you want the first stamps to print. Note that this only applies to the first sheet in the job. Be sure to load the appropriate number of sheets in the printer to complete the job putting the partial sheet on top, if that applies. You can enter a cost code as well to track your postage expenses here. Now you're ready to click Print Postage to complete your job. Finally, click Certify and Print to confirm you're printing 26 or more net stamps and that your printer is loaded correctly. And that's it. Thank you for using Stamps.com, the simple way to send.